Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus, the risen Christ in the power of the Spirit. Amen. Love is a living force. These are the words of Henry Nouwen. They are perfect for Easter. In these five short words, Nouwen expresses so much of the power and purpose of Jesus' empty tomb. Here's the full quote. Love is a living force. It is central in the biblical tradition that God's love for God's people should not be forgotten. It should remain with us in the present, when everything is dark, when we're surrounded by despairing voices, when we do not see any exits, then we can find salvation in a remembered love, a love that is not simply a wistful recollection of a bygone past, but a living force that sustains us in the present. Through memory, love transcends the limits of time and offers hope at any moment of our lives. I don't want to say it for fear of being predictable and tiresome, but it seems to be a necessary prelude to the stories we tell these days. It's been a year. Need I say more, dear siblings in Christ? Who has not experienced isolation, loss, struggle, sadness, fear, loneliness, frustration over this past year? This shared human reality, in a way perhaps never before experienced or known about, for instance, in a moment, I can tell you how many have died of this virus in Botswana, has become the air we breathe almost as contagious as the virus itself. As now and so perceptively said many years ago, we are surrounded by despairing voices when we do not see any exits. Well, maybe a tiny exit, maybe a ray of light around the edge of the door, a crack of an opening, a day that speaks more decisively than Good Friday, the sound of a massive stone beginning to be rolled away by an unseen force, a voice that speaks not of despair, but of hope, not of death, but of life. He is not here, that voice says, for he has been raised as he said. Did you hear that? Did the sound the voice penetrate? The voices of despair that, at times this past year, sounded disturbingly like our own voice? Did worship this Holy Week speak to you differently than in the past? With greater truth to the heartbreaking reality we are living through, in which Jesus is caught up with and for us to redemptive purpose? If so, then maybe that sound of stone grating on stone caught your attention too spoke to heart and hope and yearning, anxious spirit. He is not here, for he has been raised. Love is a living force. God's love for God's people should not be forgotten, should not be shut up in a tomb and declared dead and good riddance at that, say the powers and principalities. God's love should not be assumed to be powerless, even in hatred, fear, rejection, and death. Especially in these things, God's love is not forgotten or overcome. It overcomes. God's love is not simply a wistful recollection of a bygone past, but a living force that sustains us in the present, says now. I can only imagine what those early morning women were thinking and feeling as they made their way to the tomb on that first Easter. I imagine they were wrapped in wistful, even painful recollection as we are for what once was but no longer seems to be, may never be again, maybe even should not be in many ways. Because this Easter love is a living force. It does not stand still. It does not rest in what was but drives forward to what yet might be. What should be. It is dynamic and full of energy and spirit. It, he, Jesus, stands still only long enough to be recognized. For the reality to set in, do not hold on to me, then this living Christ is on the move again, in the garden, in the upper room, on the road to Emmaus, out loose in the world. This love incarnated, embodied in the risen Christ is a living force, not respecting the status quo, which is death, but moving, transforming, calling, drawing, raising up, inviting, welcoming in, and then pushing out. Love transcends the limits of time and offers hope at any moment of our lives. I would humbly offer a slight adjustment to Nouwen's words. Love offers hope at every moment. That for me is the power of Easter. Even in the most despairing of times, this dynamic love breaks bonds, 
offers liberation from present circumstances, hope beyond expectation, a magnificat reversal of the predictable to the unexpected, justice rolling down like floodwaters, in short, new life. It's been a year, but God stepped in, always steps in, and God in Christ stepped out. We are finally Easter people. And despite the losses, we have not lost our communal hope, drawing strength from one another as we walk this Emmaus road of faith together, discovering Jesus in our midst. We have overcome, for nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. By grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God. My dearly beloved fellow disciples, we are God's Easter people, and if we stand still long enough, and maybe even hold our breath. In the silence, we hear that sound, stone against stone, and the whisper of life on the loose that becomes the rush of a mighty wind. We know love is a living force, and we live to proclaim with the free and life-giving breath of first creation, he is not here. He has been raised, as he said. Happy Easter, dear ones. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah.